Hello, everyone. It's Only here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, by popular demand, we are taking a look at beef bourguignon, beef stewed in red wine. The best recipe I've ever tried is not surprisingly by Julia Child. So that's what we're gonna make today: Julia Child's beef bourguignon. Here's everything you need, and there's so much stuff I'm not even gonna bother listing the names on the screen this time. Just check out the description box below. This recipe consists of three main parts: the stew itself, plus two side dishes. Let's start with the stew. First, preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. I have a little shy of three pounds of beef chuck here. What you want to do is to trim off the excess fat and cut the meat into roughly two-inch pieces. Season the beef with salt and pepper and set it aside for now. Slice one whole onion and cut the bacon into strips that are one centimeter or 0.4 inches wide. Bring a pot of water to a boil, add in the bacon, and let it simmer for 10 minutes to get rid of some excess fat. Transfer the bacon pieces onto a tray lined with paper towels and pat them dry thoroughly. In a Dutch oven, saute the bacon on medium heat with one tablespoon of oil. And when the bacon starts to pick up some color, remove from the pot. Add in the beef pieces and sear on all sides until they are nicely browned. Browning the meat adds lovely flavor to the stew, and to achieve that, make sure one the surface of your beef is dry, and two the pot is not crowded. If you have a small Dutch oven like mine, sear the meat in batches. Take the beef out when they are done, and saute the onion and carrots in the same pot until the onion gets softened and starts to pick up some color. Remove the vegetables, put the beef and bacon pieces back in, and toss them with two tablespoons of flour. Set the pot in the preheated oven for four minutes. Flip the meat and return it to the oven for another four minutes. The flour will get toasted and forms a thin crust on the meat. When the timer goes off, take the pot out and lower the temperature of your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. Transfer the vegetables back into the pot. Add in the red wine and then the beef stock until the meat is just barely covered. Add in two to three cloves of mashed garlic, one tablespoon of tomato paste, and the herbs. Bring the stew to a simmer on the stove first. Put the lid on and set it in the oven for three hours. During which time we are going to make some brown braised onions and sautéed mushrooms. I have about 20 pearl onions that I'm gonna blanch for 20 seconds. Blanching will make the onions a lot easier to peel, and once they are all peeled, trim both ends with a paring knife. Add the butter and oil to a saucepan and sauté the onions on medium to medium low heat for 10 minutes, shaking the pan occasionally so the onions can brown as evenly as possible. Add the beef stock, season with salt and pepper, and drop in the herb bouquet. Simmer gently for about 50 minutes until the onions are soft but still retain their shape. I'm going to move this to the stove top behind me so we can make our sautéed mushrooms. Trim the ends off the mushrooms and cut them into halves, quarters, or leave them whole, depending on the size. Pat the mushrooms dry with paper towels and sauté them in a skillet with butter and oil on medium heat for around eight minutes. Occasionally, just give them a little toss for even browning. If you're thinking, "Wow, this recipe seems a lot of work," well, you're right. The good news, though, is that both the stew and the size can be prepared up to a day in advance, and according to Julia, the stew will actually taste better when reheated the next day. Take the beef stew out of the oven when it's done and pour it into a colander set over a saucepan. Remove the bay leaf and return the meat and vegetables to the Dutch oven. And let's take a look at our sauce. You want to be left with about two and a half cups in the end. So if there's too much liquid, just boil it down. And if there's not enough, mix in some beef stock. Season with salt and pepper to your taste. Mine actually came out perfect this time and didn't need any adjustments. Mix the brown braised onions and sautéed mushrooms in with the meat and vegetables, and then pour the finished sauce back in. And there you have it, Julia Child's beef bourguignon. 
So I did let the stew sit in the fridge overnight to see if it actually gets more flavorful, and guess what? Julia does know best. The taste is just amazing, and the beef itself is so tender that all you need is a spoon. Serve it with some buttery mashed potatoes. This is hands down one of the best things I've ever cooked. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.